Welcome back to School Teachers. My name is Dr. Sahara Haney and I serve as the coordinator of the EdTech team. The EdTech team wanted to bring you a short video that will showcase some do's and don'ts of proper Chromebook distribution, use, as well as maintenance. This will allow you and your students to have a successful school year using technology in the classroom. Again, welcome back to school and have an amazing school year. Chromebook checkout do's and don'ts. Don't pass out devices carelessly. Have a system in place to pass out each device. Discuss how to take care of and handle devices prior to distribution. Send home handbook permission forms to parents before distributing devices. Be sure to receive forms back with signatures from all students before receiving a device. Decide how you will check out, distribute, store daily, and collect damaged devices. Identify which device will be student devices, loaner devices, and spares. Create a procedure for exchanging damaged devices. Determine how you will label each device. Do not distribute devices until there is a plan in place. The handling of devices do's and don'ts. One hand swinging by the screen or holding devices overhead is a don't. Do model and hold students accountable for holding their device in a secure and careful manner. Chromebook care do's and don'ts. Don't allow students to have food, drinks, stickers, write-on devices, binders, or desk clutter with their Chromebooks. Also, do not allow students to place any random stickers on their device outside of the barcodes or passwords. Students should not need any writing utensils while working on devices. This will prevent the temptation of writing or doodling on their device. Do have students to work in a clean and clutter-free environment in order to prevent getting food and liquids in or on the device. Digital citizenship. Don't allow cyberbullying, misuse of technology, or improper communication between students. Use any of the free lessons available on commonsensemedia.org to teach your students how to appropriately use the devices and be good digital citizens. Daily Return of Chromebooks Do's and Don'ts don't randomly stack devices on top of Chromebook carts or stack them on top of a desk or in a corner. Do model properly placing the devices back into the cart slots at the end of each day. There are multiple ways to accomplish this. However, just ensure that there is an organized way to collect devices so that students are using the same device each day. Chromebook updating do's and don'ts. Don't allow students to just close devices at the end of usage. Do make sure that students sign out at the end of each day. Students should perform a hard shutdown at the end of each day or week of instruction. Classroom transitions do's and don'ts. Do not hold the Chromebook by the screen with one hand or any additional inappropriate ways while moving from classroom to classroom or transitioning from subject to subject. Do Place the Chromebooks in a backpack or hold with two hands carefully as you walk around the campus from your classroom or as you are leaving at the end of the day. Password security do's and don'ts. Do not place passwords on devices or leave them randomly laying around the classroom. Do keep a binder, an index card ring, or anything to keep them in a secure and safe location.
make sure that they are not easily accessible to anyone that is entering into your classroom. Teach your responsibility do's and don'ts. Do not ignore damages that have taken place on devices throughout the instructional day. Do check frequently for damages and submit a help desk ticket for any identified damages to a device. Remember, you are the first line of contact with devices. Please help your students make sure that they are taking care of their devices daily and returning them to the cart at the end of each day. We want to make sure that all students are consistently using the same device and taking good care of them. Chromebook cleaning do's and don'ts. Do not spray or oversaturate your device. Make sure you do not use Clorox wipes, Lysol wipes, or any wipes that has a high concentration of alcohol. Do use slightly damp towels to gently wipe down your screens and keyboards in order to keep any germs or dirt from getting into your device. Chromebook physical damages do's and don'ts. Do not remove any tags, serial numbers, barcodes, or labels that are used to inventory each device. Do not allow students to remove cases or pick at the keys to remove them from their device. Do model how to properly take care of their device and what to do to report any damages to their device. Thank you so much for watching today's video and again, have a great school year.